And mo Monday night, a vet hospital in Bradenton says a freezer was stolen. It contained the remains of two dogs awaiting cremation. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is at the Bradenton v Veterinary Hospital. It's on 17th Avenue West with more on the story. What happened here, Evan? Well, Kelly, it took a pickup truck to haul away the freezer from this shed. Inside were the remains of two dogs that were scheduled to be cremated and left behind our two devastated owners. Almost exactly three minutes after the pickup truck drove into the parking lot Monday night, it left with a white freezer in its bed. The crematorium guy came in and was like, basically, where's your freezer? He came to pick up and... Um, we're like, well, what do you mean? It's right out there. No, it's not. Inside the unlocked, nondescript freezer that the hospital bought secondhand a few years ago were two dark plastic bags containing the remains of two pets that the hospital had to put down. If somebody stole it? Why would somebody steal an old freezer? One of the pets was a 13 year old husky belonging to a woman in Sarasota who was hoping to have its remains forever. They had had. Um, that husky since it was a puppy. These pets are like their kids. They are their life and blood. You know, they would do anything for these pets. Kathy Richardson of the Bradenton Vet Hospital expects that whoever did it had no clue that anything was inside until they opened it. Staffers even spent the day after searching nearby alleys to see if the culprit threw anything away nearby, but they found nothing. We don't care about the freezer. If it's not too late, just bring the pets back and put them at our back door. You know, that can be some closure for the for the owners. Bradenton police are asking everyone to take a good look at the truck in the surveillance video, which may be a Nissan Frontier. They hope to find not only the culprit, but the two dogs who are in the most unusual situation of having gone missing even after they were already gone. Put yourself in their place. Imagine what they're going through right now. And I am told that the replacement freezer is going to be locked up, Kelly, so that this does not happen again. All right, Evan Axelbank reporting for us out there. Thank you so much, Evan.